Here's what you need to know about the market. Market update. There are simply not enough houses anywhere. This is the market update. And what happens is, uh, right now there are, in, on March the 1st, in Knoxville, there were 5,984 houses listed with 2,102 of those pending. These are right off the MLS website. Any realtor in the room can get this information, right? What happens is, you look at that, and the median sales price of all those homes um, that are listed is $161,000. The reason that that's important is the national median average is $228,400. Anybody want to make a guess as to what the median household income is in the United States? Just pick a number. Just make a number. 52,000. What do you think the median household income in Knoxville, Tennessee in 2016 was? 52,000. So if our median income is the same as the national median income, and the national median income price is 228, and we are at 161, what is going to happen? This isn't in the MLS. This is where you get to pay attention, right? This is what the note pads are for. What is going to happen to the price of housing in Knoxville? Right? So besides that simple piece of math, if you went to the Fan Merrill presentation or any of these guys, they'll talk about using discounted cash flow analysis and they'll throw out some really interesting terms, present value of future dollars and um, doing um, stress analysis on whether the income is going to be correct in a particular year. You don't need any of that. <laughs> what you need is a four function calculator and the ability to pay attention. So, I don't mean to sound negative to anybody. Don't misunderstand. I'm not being the risk. I'm just being observational. My angry is if somebody said that. Uh, so, anyway, on a national basis, as we know in Knoxville, entry level homes are down 9% year over year. It's the January was the lowest recorded listing inventory since the since the National Association of Realtors have been keeping track, which started in January 1999. Right? So um, it looks like next month is going to be lower than this month. So right now, entry level homes are down 10%, move up homes are down 8%, but the big homes, those 900,000 and up homes, uh, have only declined 1% in total inventory. So the inventory is shrinking from the bottom. Where do we sell homes? Bottom. Right? So if we are in the market and we're looking for homes, the maximum allowable formula that a lot of people use says you're going to be offering 70% of some number on based on some number. The bottom line is you'll never be anything bought in the market that's moving as fast as Knoxville, Nashville, Johnson City, Chattanooga, and a dozen other cities, right? So what happens is you have to have a reason why you're buying something in a particular area. And in Knox metro area, we've used these numbers from other sources, but uh, the, um, the current estimate is that in 2016, our metro area, 850,000 people grew uh, about 1%, 8,500 people, plus or minus. Nashville is a million 850,000 people in their metro area, exactly a million people more. And they grew at almost 2%. So you can imagine the speed with which that community is it's feeding on itself, right? The reason that that gets to be important is that new single family housing construction, new construction, there's only 3,200 homes built. We're going to be about 1,000 homes light to existing demand that just came into town this, over the last year. Doesn't count children that are going out and hopefully they'll get a job, you know. They're going to be moving into apartments. People who get divorced, they don't want to live together anymore. They want to have two places. People who get married have maybe one, two place, one place too many and they're looking to do something. So what happens is we know that there is more demand than there is a supply. We know that we are below the national average. We know that anything priced Anything that's a home that's 2,200 square feet or less 
can be sold under FHA guidelines for up to $130 a square foot and still be under the FHA lending limit, right? So regardless of what something may have been worth or what somebody says that's all that neighborhood can sell for, they just sold a 700 square foot, one bedroom, one bath house in Denver, Colorado for $308,000. They, a house that I thought would, I thought the people were crazy in Nashville when they offered to sell me a house on a 70 foot lot February of last, March of last year uh, for $250,000. I mean, it was, you know, it was a, I couldn't imagine. They, somebody bought, it shows you what I know, right? They, somebody not only bought it, they built two half a million dollar duplexes on the property and sold them half a million each, each side. Made a million dollar deal, right? We are not prepared for the speed with which this market may move. Now, I'm not telling you that the market's going to move in 60 days or 90 days. I'm telling you it's on a steady, steady, steady climb. And what's going on in Knoxville right now is we don't have the money that they have in Nashville, which is which drives this, the price straight up. We've got demand, but we can't there's still plenty of people in Knoxville that are just now getting to be where they're coming, the, the market is high enough, where it's back to 2006 when they bought their house, and they've got almost enough money where they can sell their house, pay a real estate commission, but they don't know where they're gonna move to, right? So we've got this pricing conundrum where people who would who would like to sell can't quite get enough money and there's not enough new homes being built where they can't find a home where they want to move to. All that takes is three people in any neighborhood, instead of paying $110,000 for that thousand square foot house, they pay $130,000 for that thousand square foot house and we're off to the races. In a $200,000 neighborhood, all they gotta do is pay 225, right? instead of the 200. And you get some young couples out that are buying an FHA with 4% down, or you get somebody moving into a neighborhood with a $15,000 first time home buyer tax, uh, tax credit, or credit, down payment assistance. They are able to buy with favorable terms and money, and the difference in the cost of the home is $50 a month, $75 a month, and their mom is gonna love them that much. Right? So we're just two, three, four transactions in every neighborhood and it's off. 